consider the following notion. Snake oil to the cynic is often holy water to the eager, right? Now, what does this tell us, right? The obvious thing, of course, is that our interpretive frameworks govern our experience of reality, right? How we perceive things, our lenses of perceptions, disclose the kind of experience that we are going to have, right? So again, the cynic sees everything like a drag. The cynic sees everything as dreary, infused with the banality of the everyday. His lenses of perception pollute, taint his experience of reality. The optimist sees bliss and possibility everywhere he looks. The optimist dwells in a place of unbounded potential. The optimist dares to conceive of what might be and through his actions potentiates ideas into being, right? The optimist ends up as a kind of sorcerer, as a kind of dream weaver, as a kind of alchemist that concocts and creates. The cynic shuns the world with a defeatist despair living what Dostoevsky refers to as a quiet life of desperation. We all know the type. But as McKenna said, you are the sum of the people you spend the most amount of time with. And so if you wish to take control, to take agency over your lenses of perception, curate your life. Be discerning in your choices. Your creative and linguistic choices govern your fate, something I've repeatedly said before. We see with our lenses, we see through our lenses, but we often don't see the lenses themselves. And the lenses themselves, my friends, we have agency over. We can swap them out. We can construct through lenses. We can italicize our perception. We can overcome the bin bears and the seen vats of the adult mind. We can awaken the mind's attention from the lethargy of custom and the film of familiarity and redirect them towards the wonders of existence. We can sing the songs that orchestrate the universe. We can hack this world. Gotta make it happen.